In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a simple loop shank, um, a woven loop shank. This will work for just about any button. I've threaded through a needle singly with the um, decorative thread. Ordinarily you would have it match your button but I want to make sure that this stands out. So the first thing to do is to fasten that thread at the back of your button. Make sure that's nice and secure. Now you need to work another stitch. This could be one or two stitches depending on um, how thick you wish this to be. I'm just going to do one for the time being so as not to complicate the issue. And then I'm going to take another piece of thread, put it through that loop, and hold that off to the side. Now the reason that I'm doing that will become clear. Now you can just, you don't want it too long, but how long it is will depend on the garment. You'll get used to this as, as you're working. So I'll hold it at this angle so that you can see what I'm doing. So now take the thread and go over and under and then back which will be over and under. Okay. And then over and under. And you notice I'm trying to push that down so that it's nice and tight. Now this additional thread you could if you wanted to fasten it to the button itself. Um, I'm actually holding this at a little bit of an awkward angle so that you can see um, but you would it, it is actually more comfortable to work than it appears. You would not be holding it out at this funny angle. You want to do this weaving back and forth until you get right to the end and you want it to be quite dense so don't be afraid you notice I keep pushing that down This can, you know, any of the buttons that you, um, and additionally, you can put this on a lot of different types of backs for your buttons. So I've worked all the way up as far as I can. And now I'm going to remove this. So that's all held in place. That was only there to help control that. And so now all I need to do is bring the needle back down. and pull that. And so there is a little loop ready to sew on. So we just need to secure this, make sure it's fastened on there nice and tightly. And you can even, if you want to hide your thread, just take it through the needle, uh, the needle through those, the woven section. I've, I've woven it too tightly actually, it's not going to do that. So we'll just trim close instead. So now you can see you have a nice little loop at the back and that can then be used to sew the button into place.